Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called Who Was It? Who Was It? is a game from Ravensburger and Dr. Reiner Knizia. Plays two to four players. What's the time say? Uh, doesn't have time on the box. I don't know, no longer than an hour. And effectively what you're trying to do in here is you're trying to be these little kid adventurers or adult adventurers, I think they're kids. These kids are trying to investigate in this castle to figure out who stole the magical ring before the wizard comes and destroys the town. You have six hours to do it. So the way that works is you're going to be rolling this die, you're going to be moving your pawn to rooms, asking questions, feeding the animals so they'll give you some hints, clues to who the suspect is, to ultimately figure out who the suspect is to open their chest and find the ring. That's enough talking about it. Let's go on the table. Check it out. All right, so here's a game of who was it all set up for two players. So to set up, you're going to put the board out in the middle. You're going to put the appropriate door spaces to match the art. So I've done that. There's one here, here here and there I'm going to put the ghost in the courtyard and you're going to put these two people in the nursery and then you're going to lay out all of the suspects here cat board here with the food tokens here and the keys off to the side get the die and then you're gonna to have to prepare the jewelry box so first thing you have to do is take this out put the key or the ring down on the bottom like that put batteries in it if you haven't done that then put this in and then we're gonna start it up. So I'm gonna to try to make sure you can hear it. So let's start it up. Meow. Children of the castle, listen to me. Only you can save the kingdom before the evil wizard appears at six o'clock. There is not much time. Come on, hurry up. All right, so that's the intro. Basically what you're trying to do is it's a cooperative game. You're trying to figure out who this suspect is, get to that person's chest with a key to be able to unlock their chest and get the ring out. That's what we're trying to do. So the way that we're doing that, and we have till 6 p.m. to do that. I think we start at noon. So we have six hours, which is, I don't know how the time is tracked, but the box keeps track of it. So basically on your turn, what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll this die. If you roll a number, you can move up to that many spaces into any room that's available. So let's say red is first, I'll do that. So I'm going to move one, two into here, okay? Then when you move into a room, you have a couple options. Let's look at the box here. When you move into a room, look, you're gonna find what animal it is. So I'm in the dog room. When I get into that room, if there's a section that has stars around it, I could try to use a magical item and see what happens. So I'd push that. Or I could search the room by pushing the eyeball. Or I could talk to the animal by pushing the mouth. If I would have food on my board that the animal wants to eat after I push the mouth, I could then push the hand and I could give the food to the animal. Or if I think I know who the suspect is and I have a key, I can push the box in that room and it'll tell me if I'm right. Okay, so let's see. What do I want to do? Let's try the magical item. So I'm in the dog. Magical item. Here we go. All right, so the magical item didn't let me do anything. The wizard put a stop to that. So that's my turn. Now it's Blue's turn, they'll roll. They have a two, they're gonna go the other way. So let's go one, two, they'll go down to the stables. They will do horse and search. You found the apple. So we found an apple in there. So that goes onto this board. We can have two fruit or two food at a time, as many keys as we want. Any additional food that we find will go in the pantry. Once we spend one, then we can take another from the pantry and put it on our board. All right, so that was their turn. Back to red. Two. One, two. Let's do the goat or donkey. And we'll look around. You found the cherries. So we found cherries. All right, so we need to find out which animals want to eat cherries and apple. All right, blue's turn. Four. You can't go where the ghost is. 
they'll go into nope they'll go into this one and they will dog and they'll see what they want to eat I would like a bread. so the dog wants bread uh oh and now it's one o'clock we have five more hours right. red's turn four let's go to this room and I will Alright, so we have cherries, so now we push the hand. I saw that. The thief cherries. Is tall. Well done. This eliminates two of the suspects. Alright, so we fed the the um, warthog cherries. And the box told us that the thief is tall. So we know that the two short suspects, which are the witch and this guy, are not the bad guys. And we also know that because we're playing it on easy. And this tower never opens, and that tower never opens, and those are the two suspects that live in those towers. So they are out. So we know it's not them. So now we have ten more to look at, or eight more to look at. Okay, that was Red's turn. Blue. Two will go here, and that is Goat. You found a carrot. Found a carrot. Okay. And then we'll roll again. Oh, the ghost is moving. When the ghost moves, when you roll this face, the ghost moves to the next room connected by the ghostly lines. Still red's turn. Uh-oh, ghost moves here, captures red, flies red over to the nursery. And now red can move too. They'll go into the snake room. Let's talk to the snake. All right, so snake. You found the bread. So we found the bread. So the bread goes in the pantry. Actually, that's, yeah. I know that the bread is for the horse. We just gotta get something else gone, all right? Blue's turn. Let's go one, two, three. Let's use the magical well. So horse magic. So blue gets another turn. One. They'll go to the courtyard and they will look around. You found the nuts. So we have nuts now in the pantry, so bread and nuts. Okay, red's turn. They'll move one. They will. So here and here is where we need to go. So blue gets another turn. Three. So let's go. One. Let's see what the donkey wants to eat. I would like a cheese. The donkey wants cheese. We don't have cheese. Ooh, we get a key. Fairy gave us a key. All right, so we do that. Two o'clock, Red's turn. They want to move to the courtyard and they're going to see what the peacock wants to eat. Feed me a carrot. All right, so we'll give the peacock the carrot. I can help you. Search in the chapel. There you will find a key. One, two, three. Oh man, the ghost is in the chapel now. All right, blue's turn. They get to move one, so let's go in here. Let's search. You found the cheese. All right, we got the cheese. I think the goat needs the cheese. The donkey needs the cheese. So let's find out. Let's move right into here, donkey. We'll give the donkey the cheese. I saw that. The thief is thin. Well done. Alright, so we know it's they not this character. The or this character. Alright. And that's how the game's gonna work. You're gonna keep doing that until you figure it out. Either you run out of time and the wizard takes over the town, or you think you know 
who the guilty party is. So let's just show you what that would look like. So say I move to, this one's still available. So let's say I go over to here and I wanna see if this is the bad guy. What you do is if you have a key, you go to that room, so horse, and then I will click the chest. So we know this character didn't do it. We have to get rid of our key. And then I am the wizard. The you wizard chose find the ring. And that's it. So you only have so many keys and you gotta find keys. So we are down to three keys now. You may not get all the keys in the round. You may get all the keys. So you're trying to not do that until you're close to certain. But that's how you play the game. Let's go up to the top. See what you think about it. Alright, well, that was who was it? Uh yeah, this is a fantastic game it's a uh, effectively a kids game a kids um, cooperative game it has a gimmick I love gimmicks the talking chest is amazing uh, I was playing games with a friend recently he said you know you don't like app games but you like games with the electronic stuff what's the difference it's like I, I don't honestly know if there is a difference but I just like what this stuff does better like electronic mall madness if there's a, an electronic gimmick in it I want it so this game is effectively a roll and move. You're rolling around and you're asking questions of the rooms and the people that are in the room, trying to deduce who the suspects are, which are symbolized by these cards here, before six o'clock. You're trying to get food, you're putting it on this cool cat board to keep track of your inventory, which that's all it is, is an inventory board. Uh, you're running around from the ghost because the ghost will capture you and take you back to the nursery, which is a bummer. Um, that's it. I've played it on the easy setting. Maybe I'm not smart, but even on the e easy setting twice, couldn't win. But you can play easy, medium, and hard. Um, they'll open up the two additional uh, rooms if you're playing on a harder level and all that kind of thing. So just be prepared. What I showed you is only easy. But yeah, I like this game. Uh, I've played it with my daughter. She likes it. It's fun. She gets scared of the ghost when the ghost comes on the box and tells you that it's moving. But good game. If you like deduction, you like electronic gimmicks, you like cooperative family games and you can find a copy of this it's won the kinder spiel in 2008 so if you can find a copy of this i would say check it out it's worth giving it a shot as long as the box works the box is key because that's where the whole game is basically so if the box doesn't work you're not gonna be able to do much with this game but yeah i'm gonna give this a bgm except the seal i'm gonna give this a seven out of ten on bgg which is a three and a half out of five wrenches on an arbitrary rich scale that means absolutely nothing but we'll have to give it the games we enjoy, and that's what I'm going to do. So that is Who Was It from Robinsberger. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and as always, keep gaming.